at an awesome new adventure in France. We are at the Island Lake, about four hours down. We got here yesterday, pouring down the rain, late afternoon, didn't have time to do any filming, just about managed to get the rods out in time before it got dark. Literally stuck a handful of boilies over each rod. And, uh, yeah, retired to the umbrella underneath there for the evening, for the night, got some food on and that. And uh, yeah, enjoy enjoying ourselves. And the good thing is we actually had a bite about an hour ago. So it's just first light. And uh, yeah, we managed to get one. Look, look at that. We're just resting her up for a minute. Look at that there, look. We've got a nice stocky, I reckon, probably mid-20, mid-20, something like that. Lovely fish, I haven't weighed her up yet. Gonna get her out in a while. And uh, yeah, we've got about five or six nights here. Looking forward to it. Awesome place, always want to fish it. And um, welcome to the new adventure. Well, first blood, pouring down a rain yesterday. I didn't really think I was gonna get a chance of a bite last night. How wrong can you be, eh? It's not the biggest fish in the world, don't get me wrong, but the most welcome, that's for certain. Just first blood, and it's the first on the new test bay as well. So, two little double 15 millers, shelf life, bottom bait side on. Um, yeah, looking forward to showing it to you. Really nice fish, gonna really be one of the future this one. Bit of water on her. Check out this little beast. Beautiful, big old shoulders on it, this one. Look at this. Look at the shoulders on that. Whoa! Look at it. That is gonna be some fish in years to come, isn't it? As I say, very much welcome. Pouring down rain. Didn't manage to get the rods out as nice because it was just getting dark. So I was um, yeah, a bit surprised I got a bite just before first light. But as I said, very welcome. Let's get her back. Let's get the rod sorted out for the day. Let's have a catch up afterwards. And I'll tell you a little bit about the lake. Right, as promised, I'm gonna give you a little run down on the lake and what's in here and everything else. I've just got the rods out. Now, a lot of messing around. Probably see I took a bit of GoPro uh, footage so you better see what I'm doing and all that. Um, there's 10 swims, no, I think there's 12 swims on the lake. There's 20 acres in size. Each swim's got its own bit of water, like this one. This is swim nine. I've got lots of area out there. I've got all to the island there, a bit to the left, right the way down the bay there as well. So plenty of room for me to get four rods in. Um, it's got about 250 fish in here. 10 over 60, would you believe? 10 over 60, that's some big old chunks, and two 70s. 77's the biggest, I think 72 common, a mirror, I'm not too sure. But the uh, 77 ones are a mirror, uh, but it's a big common as well, I believe. So it's got a bit of everything. Loads of 40s and upper 40s, loads of 50s as well. So I think they say the average weight is about 40 pounds. So, mm, so that little stocky eyed was probably one of the smallest fish in the lake, about 22, 23 pound, I reckon it was. But lovely fish to open your count, especially when a bit of a pup chuck. Uh, when I went out in the boat and put them out last night, it's, um, yeah, I, I, I'm surprised I had anything to be fair. We're all, we're all rocking to go now. I've just put the rods out now to the left over there. Left uh, towards that swim, you see I've got a H block out there. And about 15 yards, 20 yards this side of the H block is a hard area. It's 14 and a half wraps from swim nine towards whatever swim that is out there. Um, pool time with the owner. So I put a marker rod, I put the marker rod out there, then I put a, a H block behind it. I went and felt out there, and that's where I had the bite from. That's where I had the stocky from last night. So I've got two rods out there. There's a nice two hard areas out there. I'm a bit worried that if I get a take on the left, left hand rod or the other rod, it's gonna take me other rod out. So not too sure how we're gonna fare with that tonight. If we get a right run anyway. Uh, let's darken this down because it's quite light, isn't it? You can see the clouds now, a bit power. That's a bit, that's nicer. Yes, yeah, so I've got two rods out there. This middle bit, I did have a rod out there towards the hut, towards the island. I did have a, a rod out there, but nothing last night, so I've moved it. I put the two across there. I put the two across there where I had a bite from. 
the two hard spots. If you can see in the distance up there, I don't know if you can, but there is a H block up there as well. I put that out and baited up around it. Paul's told me they've been showing and fizzing up up there the last week, so I've got a rod up there. It's a lovely, it's a real lovely spot. You probably see it on the GoPro. I've baited it. It's real glowing. It's quite a big spot as well. And I've got one rod on that. Just to, um, yeah, I reckon that's where I'm going to get a bite. That's where I'm going to get a biggie from, I reckon. So we haven't gone mad with a bait. A couple of handfuls either there. I mean, I had that fish on one handful. And I'm not even sure it was in the same bloody area, to be fair. But, yeah, it's... I don't know, loads of bait, not loads of bait. I don't think for this time of year, we're mid-November, or 20th, we're late November. Won't be, it's closer to Christmas than it is bloody November at the moment. And we're still double double digits, 10 degrees, 11 degrees, maybe today, 9 degrees. Uh, a little bit colder last night, but five, six, at its first frost this week, Paul reckons. But mm, yes, we, we shall see. So that rod's up there. That's got um, a hardened live system and a, and a uh, Northern Special White on that one. These two over here, the left hand rod is a hardened, hardened live system and a yellow Northern Special 10 miller on top. That middle rod over there, the one next to it, is a double of the new test bait. That's a, what I had a bite on last night. And my final right hand rod, the fourth rod, that is up against the tree line up there. If you see the tree line, it runs all the way up there. There's all these little bits sloping off, all these little hard areas where they've been eating like bilio during the summer months. I've got one off of there. Um, yeah, looks a lovely spot, and hard area. They've definitely been feeding on it recently. So I put a bit of bait on there, a bit of boilie on there, just to, just to see as well. So yeah, boilie and pellet only on there, I think, from what he tells me. No, no particles, stuff like that. That's why the fish get big though, isn't it, really? So yes, yeah, so I've got boilies. On each spot, I put a mixture as well of the test bait and the live system. So if I keep getting bites on the on the test bait, I'm gonna swap them all over to that. If I get more bites on the live system, I'll see how we go. Um, so, so yeah, that's in about six foot. The, the middle one out there, that's about six foot. These two are about nine, 10 foot, I reckon. We've got a good few acres here. We've got a good few acre, couple of acres, I reckon, of my own water. And I think 12 swimmers only allows eight on.